So what's supply chain optimization? And when we talk about optimization, we really need to talk about three things, okay? The first one is we have to understand what are our, like what kind of decisions can we make, okay? Are we making decisions in terms of where, where our warehouses should be or are we making decisions in terms of uh, which products should we put into which warehouses at what amounts, at what time periods? Are we making also decisions about order policies or, uh, or in, a, in a delivery perspective, for example, are we making decisions of just where to send the trucks or are we also allowed to make decisions in terms of when, uh, when we fill the truck and go out to deliver something, are we making decisions about how much we should deliver at that given point in time? So it's important to understand what decisions are involved in this, in this framework, okay? Because given the types of decisions that you want to make jointly, the way that you should think about, uh, about the decision or about the system that you're trying to optimize is different, okay? So the first thing that is always important in terms of, you know, in my eyes, when you're thinking about a supply chain optimization model is to identify what your decisions are. The second, I would say, is what your objective is. You know, in general, are you trying to minimize cost? Are you trying to expedite delivery, minimize delivery lead times? Or are you trying to serve or maximize the number of people serve in a certain population group at a certain location? You know, what's the goal? What, are the obje what is the objective or what are the objectives? And then finally, I would say external factors. But if you want to kind of think about it in a more academic setting, you can think about it as constraints and parameters, okay? And what that means is that what are the things, what is the system parameters that's telling you what you can do and what you cannot do? And at what cost or price, at cap what are the capacities? Like these are the things that you don't have a control over. It's just a description of your state of your system. Tell me a little bit about what you think are decisions. Let's start with the decisions. What do you think are the type of decisions that we make when we're talking about supply chain systems? So what, what kind of decision you're making? Okay, all the, all the emergency kits delivered. That's not a decision. Okay. How, How many kits? Uh, 50 tons of emergency. No, but that's, that's, now you made the decision. So maybe the decision is how many to deliver. Okay. How many? <coughs> How many uh, kids for emergency <laughs> should be delivered? Okay, so let me. Should I uh, open our own warehouse or should I continue to use the block cluster warehouse? Okay, so it's a good decision. So should you open a facility or should you rent one? Should you use it with a, should you share it in something like a low cluster type of an arrangement? But that's a very important decision in general. Uh, where to How much, how many quantities of food? How much, and I would actually say which products. Exactly. Okay, come on, we're in a logistics class. How about trucks? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, so delivery paths, modes, uh, I'll say transport. I think we have enough decisions here, and I'm sure we're not covering everything, but if you really think about a supply chain system, these are the types of decisions that you, you might be making. And in usually in any situation, you're not really making just one of these decisions, but a multiple of them at the same time, right? Because one decision that you might make will probably affect most of the other decisions that you need to make in the future or simultaneously. Uh, so let's talk a little bit more about the objective maybe. So we have the budget, the time, the service level, any other objectives that you can think about? I think efficiency or effectiveness, I, I th it can be an objective. So you might try to, it's a good one actually. Let's, let's try to think about it. It's a little bit different than any one of these. It's almost like a ratio of how much budget you're using to get to what service level. So how about some other external factors? We talked about forecasts. Here, I'm gonna say demand forecast predictions that might go into your models. 
uh, the budget levels that you might have. Uh, so the number of beneficiaries to serve that's similar to the demand forecast, right, or the demand estimation. What other external factors go into decision models? So I would say some of the external factors include logistics accessibility, market conditions, security conditions, I would say political conditions. And I'm going to put, so lead times as an external factor. Any setting, any problem that you're trying to optimize, the first thing is to kind of separate out what are the decisions, what are the objectives, and what's my, how can I describe my state? What are the external factors? Thank you.